Hello, it is Saturday and that means it is another surprise Saturday. I have filled my box up a little bit more with a few more things, some random things. Um, I now I have some Star Wars, uh, in case anyone's wondering. I got these from Smith stores, they were for sale for a pound, so I have no idea what's in there. Um, but I just thought it might be fun. I mean, they're micro machines, which means they must be so tiny and you know me, I love tiny things. And I'm also a little Star Wars fan, so I'm happy with that. I also have a toy brands back, um, thing in here now. And I got a colour reveal, because why not? <laughs> um, I thought that might be an interesting one to have. <laughs> just do a random colour reveal in the middle of it. Someday, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I have so many. I don't know if I showed this in the last one I did, but I've also gotten a couple of these. These are the um, mystery figures for the 100, Disney 100. And they're die cast. I love the Disney die cast figures. I have tons of them. Um, so whenever I saw that they had a mystery bag of them, I had to get it. So that looks amazing. Um, so I think I only have two, don't I? I have to buy more. Uh, I also have a bunch of the mini Lego series. Every time I go to the shops, I pick up like another one because I just can't help it. I want all of them. And there's 18 to collect, so yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is for my first two, I'm going to have two Disney ones. I'm going to have both of them are for the Disney 100. So we'll do the die cast and we'll do the Lego. So we'll do them too. And then, so that's my Disney ones. And let's be honest, I always have to have a Disney one, don't I? Um, I guess we'll do one of the Star Wars, which definitely is Disney as well. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's try and do a non-Disney one. Let's do one of the balls. Let's do Soup Troop. So that's four, isn't it? Four. And finally, let's try and pick a non-Disney here. What do I have that's not Disney? <laughs> not a lot. You know what? Let's do Kirby. I have like, I think they're stickers um, that I just got randomly one day I saw it and thought it was really funny and picked it up. So yeah, I'll open that up. Let's see what's in that. But yeah, the box is still pretty full and I ordered a few things on Fintage. Fintage is very good if you like collecting. Oh, just hit the thing there. Fintage is very good for um, buying bags. They seem to have good deals on there um, for getting like small job lots of them. So I purchased a few wee small job lots of different items um, from Fintage. So oh, I'll be filling up my blind box again. The surprise box. Um, it's funny, this all started off because I was trying to use up all my blind bags and instead more blind bags keep coming out, going on sale, all that. And I'm like, they're adorable. And then I buy more and yeah, this box is never going to be empty, let's be honest. But anyway, moving on, I will turn this camera around so we get a better view of all these that I have, as you can see. <laughs> and we will open them up in greater detail. So give me a second. All right, here we are. It's all set up for you. And that we have our five up here. Hopefully this is an angle that you will like. Let me know. Um, so we'll start from the bottom and work our way up at least. We'll start with this one. This is called Soup Troop. And I've already opened one of these. I got this one last time I opened it. So let's find out who I get this time. So I was still a double, I think I'm happy enough because they're all pretty cute. So let's get this open. Apologies if you hear my dog in the background. One second. Sorry, my dog was barking there. Uh, so I have a good check on it. Here we go. So I have this. I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know yet. Let's find out. Okay, so it's a new one. That's good. Um, I'm not sure who this is. Hold on. Let me knife it here. There we go. So here we have it. Like an already cup. Um, yeah, it's very, very cute. I'm not sure what it's going to, meant to be, though. So let's I'll set it there for a second and let's have a look at the checklist and see what it says. This is series one of the Soot Troop. Um, and yep, so I have one of the comments. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I have one of the comments here. There it is. And let's turn it around so we can see in better detail what we got. And oh, here we go. Mine is up here. So this is French onion. Um, it may sound cheesy, but give it a try. A European delight that won't make you cry. So there you go. 
not sure I like that or not. Um, I love tomato soup, so that would be a nice one to have. Um, clam chowder, not too sure about. Shrimp, maybe shrimp gumbo. I don't mind shrimp. Tortilla, tortilla, tortilla. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Um, that could be really tasty. Egg drop, not sure of that. Loaded potato, sounds very nice. And we have miso. So those are the different ones you could get, but obviously I got this one here, the French onion. So there we go, there's our first one open. Let's move these out of the road. And let's go with this one here, which is very, very cute. And let's open it up. I might use the scissors for this one actually. And um, so this is obviously this is based on um, a game and I haven't covered it at all. It's Kirby, that's the name I was for. So this is a call from a game called Kirby and the character here is called Kirby. And it's still not opening, I'm not doing a job of this, but there we go. So let's see, I think these are meant to be stickers. Let's find out. Oh, okay, so yeah, they're stickers. Oh, and they're shiny, <laughs> they're sparkly. So obviously this is in Japanese, so I have no idea what they say. Um, I got these from the little online store that I quite like called Lippo. Um, it sometimes has really cute items and it's usually quite cheap. So, oh, let me turn that around, there we are. So yeah, I like to nose you on that occasionally. And yeah, there's that one. There's Kirby doing some fishing. And, oh, <laughs> there we go. Nail vents, and finally, yeah. So yeah, these are very pretty. So these are stickers, so there we go, I'll set them there. <laughs> There is our Kirby. Next, we will do mini figures. These are the Lego mini figures. So I've opened one or two. I can't remember. I think I've opened two already. If I remember correctly. <laughs> can't remember now. Let's just say as long as I don't get a double. Oh, no double. Excellent. <laughs> I'll say I want all of them. So I do. Yeah, here we go. We've got the mouse, we've got Mickey Mouse as the apprentice from, what was it called? What was the name of that? Fantasia, that's it. <laughs> I was just trying to think in my head. And um, on the checker list as cell tape on it. Open so I can see, make sure I'm doing this all right. Oh, so you have to get that extra just in case. So we get two of these, we put one like that. There we go, there's our little bucket. So I guess on one hand, he's holding his bucket. Can I do this without breaking it? There we go. He's got the bucket in one hand. I'm realizing you can't even see him <laughs> as I build this. There we go, he's sitting up there. And then his mop. And the other. Oh, <laughs> doesn't want to stay. There we go. There's his mop. There is Mickey as the apprentice. The Marlin. That's amazing. There he is sitting up there, looking very cute. And there's a wee extra there. Very sweet. Uh, next, we'll do Star Wars. These are the micro machines. Um, so let's see what these are like. And they are very micro, they are they are correct on. And there we go. That is adorable. I don't know if it has, does it come with like a list. It doesn't come with a list to tell you what you got. Um I do enjoy Star Wars, but I don't quite know what all the starships and all are called, so I've no idea what this one's called. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. It's got like a hole at the bottom, so I don't know, maybe you can maybe get a stamp for it or something, which would have been quite fun if, if you had gotten like one of those like plastic C3 stamps. Um, would have been quite nice, but yeah, that's, that's sweet. <laughs> Set that there. And finally, we had the Disney 100 mystery figure. This is the die cast one. I'm very excited for this. Um, oh, I should have probably showed you before I opened that. This is all you can get. So I think I already have an Alice in Wonderland one, similar to this. I've bought in die cast figures before, usually with um, Disney's brief quite a few of these. This is, I think this is the first time I've seen them in like a mystery pack. Um, obviously I would love Stitch 
Mickey and Minnie, the classics. Um, oh, I love Wally. I don't think I really have very much of Wally, so that'd be that'd be a really cute one. And then obviously Teen Mysteries, which looks like Minnie or Mickey figurines. So let's find out who do I get. Oh, I got Minnie. Very cute. I got Minnie Mice. She's looking absolutely adorable. And yeah, this is a die cast. It's metal. I just think they're really cool, and they're beautifully painted, as you can see. It's very shiny. Um, they haven't given her bow dots though, unfortunately, or her dress. But that's okay. <laughs> so let me see. I wonder, do I have it behind me to see if they are similar? Let me find out. Okay, so word of warning, if you have bought the plays or the, the sets of these, it is going to end up being a double because this is what I got. This is one that I bought in a box set, I think. You got Mickey and Minnie and a couple of others. And as you can see, uh, yeah, it's identical. <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Um, saying that, there are a few characters that I don't have. I have Mickey. Uh, I have Alice in Wonderland, I have um, Baymax, um, I have Mr. Incredible, and I have Buzz Lightyear. But I don't have Winnie the Pooh, I don't have Stitch, obviously I don't have any of the limited edition ones. I don't have Wally and all, so, and I don't have the Chester Cat, so hopefully I can get the ones I don't own from these packs. I've got a few of these now. Um, but yeah, just for a warning, if you have been buying the diecast characters in the past, um, there is a chance you will get a double. Because <laughs> obviously they have just reused some of them for this, but yeah, so there you go, that's just a word of warning. I thought I'd check just to make sure. Um, but it's still very, very cute and they're not too badly priced, I don't think. I can't remember, I'm saying that, I can't remember, I think it was like two pounds something. Um, but the diecast figurines usually do end up going on sale. Um, like I think the last bundles that I got were from Seals, so if you want to keep an eye out for them, uh, rather than take a risk with the mysteries. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to open them. I might still buy a few more if I don't get the ones I want because there are a few in this that I don't own. But obviously if I end up getting Baymax or um, Mickey or Buzz, um, they're going to end up being doubles, so <laughs> that's a shame. But anyway, it's still a fun thing to open up and it's adorable and it's very <laughs> Disney focused as usual. Um, hopefully when my um, mystery bags come in uh, from the post, hopefully they'll come in this week and that'll hopefully balance things out a bit and they won't be as Disney heavy. Because um, I promise there are other things that I enjoy that are Disney, <laughs> um, not that it shows here. But anyway, which one is your favourite? From this bundle. Um, I suppose it will have to be Mickey Mouse. Uh, I think if this hadn't ended up being double this probably would have been my favourite but because it is and um, I've realised that kind of they have reused some of the die cast figures kind of take it away from that so instead I'm going to say Mickey Mouse. Um, so yeah, he's going to join my Lego collection which is very exciting and yeah I'm very happy with what I got today. Let me know which one it was your favourite. Um, yeah, until next time Bye!